Hey guys, today I want to take you through how I'm going to be mounting the GoPro to my Shoei RF1200 helmet. Now there are multiple ways that you can mount a camera to a helmet and there are pros and cons to all of them. It really depends on the exact equipment you have, what your needs are for it, which is going to be the best option for you. So straight off the bat, you have a choice of cameras. GoPro is certainly very popular. It is a little clunky. It's not really specifically designed to go on as a helmet camera. There are very specific ones that go on the side and are more bullet shaped. Those are certainly a good option, but with those you are pretty much limited to a side mount camera. With the GoPro you do have more options. <clears throat> Obviously the first option is directly on top of the helmet and while that gives you a great view it looks really goofy and of course you're gonna have some wind noise. So while for straight out filming, that is an excellent option as an everyday thing, just riding around town, number one, it calls attention to yourself a little bit more than the other options. Number two, I don't know. I, I just don't want to go around looking like a goof with a helmet, right with a camera right on top of my helmet. There are better options, I think. So another option is obviously to put this on the side like some of the other dedicated action cams. And that is a very versatile option that most people choose. Number one, because it works with just about any helmet out there. It's out of the way. It's not going to give you any kind of wind noise like it would up here. It's not really going to affect many things. But one criteria that knocks it out of the running for me is, first and foremost, the video quality has to be great for you guys. This is strictly for you guys. So I don't want to compromise by mounting it on the side and, in my opinion, really detracting from the video quality. Number one, the view is skewed. You don't have any view of the other side of what you're looking at. Number two, a lot of the frame is ruined, hogged, taken up by the side of your helmet. So that just, I don't know, it's not the best. I, I don't want to make that compromise. So it needs to be out of the helmet range of vision. So that basically means somewhere in the front. Now one option that some people go with is mounting this inside the helmet, which has only been an option really since the Hero 3 came out. The Hero 2, which I had previous to this, was significantly bigger. It was about a quarter of the size bigger. And there is no flipping way I would want the Hero 2 like this, sitting in front of my face, right in front of my nose, blocking part of my vision inside my helmet. No way. And you know what? I don't even want to do that with the Hero 3. I want maximum visibility. I do not want this in my face in the event of anything happening. Plus, the audio quality isn't that great once you close the visor. It really does muffle the sound of my voice or of the voice of someone in here doing it like this. So that leaves mounting it externally on the chin bar, a mouth mount, a chin mount. And there are multiple options for doing this. Some people will put a skeleton case on and then zip tie it around here. Problem is you've got zip ties hanging around here and you can't fully close the visor. It stays cracked like that because you have zip ties. And that's no good. I want the helmet to be fully functional, watertight, quiet, fog free. And for that, you need a sealed visor. So, no hokey zip tie solution. That means I'm going to be mounting it to this chin area here. And this is why most people have to do a side mount because there aren't that many helmets where it's really feasible because you do need a good, fairly flat section in this area to get an adhesive mount on. Now I've got some mounts here. Here is a curved stock GoPro mount. Comes with this good 3M double sided tape. Take this off. You stick it down real good to an area. Now let's see how this fits on here. Not too well. I have about a 20% contact patch in the center and it rocks side to side. There is significant curve in this helmet's chin so that doesn't, by default, work. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do in this way, 
Well, that's even worse. I've just got this little tiny contact here. So I need to figure out the best way to get this mounted. And I think the best way to do that is to use several strips of the same 3M double tape, which I have, build this up into more of a contour so that it can fit and stay very secure to this area. If I build this up enough, I should be able to get at least three quarters coverage, which is more than enough. This isn't going to be going through too much trauma or wind, and that should stick just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Get this mounted right in the center, and make sure it's nice and secure. All right, what I've got here is a contour of tape built up. I've got the 3M red double-sided tape. This is as permanent as it gets. You can still remove it, so it's not going to be stuck on here forever, but it really has great holding power. You can get this at any auto store. And it's pretty much what you find in any kind of commercial product. If they're using double-sided tape, that's the product they're using. So I peeled off the protective layer off the GoPro mount. I put one strip down almost to the bottom here. That's going to help fill in this immediate valley. And then I filled in the top on the sides and then put one more layer along the top or uh, I'm sorry along the sides overlapping that bar too. So I might not have great contact just in these two little strips here but I should have it at three points along the top and pretty much all the way along the bottom and center. So that should be good enough. I'm just going to center this. I'm going to go as far down as I can all the way to the lip here. And it's kind of hard to do this, and every helmet type is going to be different in exactly how you need to build it up, because the contours are all different. But it's a little tough to do because you have to eyeball it. You can't stick it to the helmet and test, and then take it off and add or subtract more tape. So get it up there, eyeball it as best you can, but it shouldn't be that difficult, and I nailed it. Got great contact on the sides here, great contact along the middle in that ridge. I have no rock whatsoever. That is going to be perfect. And I'll go along and with a razor and very gently just trim up the edges so I don't see excess foam tape. But I'm not really concerned with that. All right, there we go. Rock solid. Now I'm going to give that a little bit of dry time at least an hour or two here before I actually go out and use it but it's definitely secure enough to try our mounts now as far as mounting the GoPro my theory is keep it simple Simon kiss here are some more of my requirements one was video quality it has to be awesome for you guys two is audio quality there are multiple options you can use now some people are lucky enough to ride in areas that have great weather meaning not a lot of rain. I am not one of those. So I do not have the option of using the bare frame or the skeleton or any kind of non-waterproof option. If I was in one of those situations, I could use an external microphone. GoPro has a USB adapter that goes in the USB port here, and you can plug in any number of really good little boom mics or just condenser mics, and you can mount it in your helmet and that's all you need. You're recording directly into the GoPro. Boom. Beautiful. But I need a waterproof option and any option that uses a plug-in microphone is not waterproof. There's simply no way to get a cable through a waterproof case. So that is immediately out the window. So that got me looking and that's why I'm using this Senna GP10 audio pack which is basically a receiver, a Bluetooth receiver for audio. And you can transmit from any of the Sena or Senna. I'm not even sure which way to say it because even in the freaking company's own videos, they say it both ways. They say, huh, welcome to Senna. And then to activate the voice prompt, they go, hello, Sena. Which one is it, guys? I'm going to say Senna because I think it sounds better. You can transmit from a, almost any Senna Bluetooth headset or communications pack. So I have one of those. I have the 20S, and I'm going to talk uh, in a another video about this freaking adventure not good not good but anyway so this is basically a Bluetooth receiver now we can have a waterproof option 
The problem is you can't use this in any stock GoPro, GoPro case because the backpack not only has the back, you could use one of the extended cases for that. The problem is it uses this little bridge and this guy is what physically connects the audio coming from the receiver into the GoPro. So it's kind of like having an external mic, it's just a wireless external mic. That's what this is. So you have to use the special Senna waterproof case that just came out. I'm one of the first to have this and it fits like a glove. Beautiful quality, same as factory GoPro, no problem there. So you get a nice waterproof case, fits the Senna unit and the bridge and you got your standard GoPro connector and you can do whatever you want with it. Now to mount this, the easiest solution I found, and it again depends on exactly how you're mounting it to your helmet. If I had a larger flat spot here, I would have mounted this vertically and it would have given me a little bit more wiggle room in the type of mounts I can use. Now luckily, I'm gonna have to test it, but I think this is gonna work absolutely beautifully. Really simple solution, one little 90 degree switch connector, that's it. I should have more than enough room. This is about my normal riding angle and I have plenty of tilt. This probably would be looking far too low and I got plenty of room to come up. So boom, done, totally easy. One part, I had thought that I would need a lot more stuff and I kind of went crazy buying GoPro mounts because I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I'm going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff with it, uh, mostly on the bike, but I want to mount it in different positions and everything. So I've got, uh, I bought the, the helmet kit, so I've got some J-hooks, I got, I'm not even sure which thing I ordered this came with. It's like a ratcheting mount. I'm, I'm really not sure what I got this in, but I bought a ton of stuff. And you can get this stuff so cheap on Amazon. I got, uh, I've got the frame. This came with the Senna audio pack, I believe. Um, I've got a telescoping monopod. I've got right here. So this is cool. This goes out to like six feet. Pretty good quality unit. I've got a tripod mount that came with that. I have... This is a big arm that goes with, oh, there's another one of those ratchet things. Aha, it goes down here. Well, that makes more sense now because it goes with this big heavy duty suction cup mount. So I can put that on the side of the bags or something. You gotta watch where you put it because I got a lot of wax on the bike. But anyway, point is this stuff is so cheap. Just go crazy, have fun with it, get your mounts and whatever your mounting position is going to be for your GoPro on your helmet, you can create it. I mean, it's like playing with Legos, you know? You can make any kind of crazy creation. They've got 90 degree connectors, they've got straight connectors, longer straight connectors, whatever you need to do, whatever your configuration of your GoPro is, you can definitely hook it up. But just keep it as simple as possible. That's my only suggestion. And this is as simple as it gets. I mean, the only thing simpler would be mounting directly to here. But there isn't enough clearance with the backpack. I could have done it with just the frame, but because I have the extra equipment on there, I needed this one little extension and the 90 degree flip anyway. So that was it. Of course, you can see it's upside down, but luckily the GoPro software has a one click option to turn it right side up. Or of course, any external editor like Premiere, Vegas, Final Cut Pro, etc., will just flip that with one rotation button click. So there you go. Super easy, simple. This is what I'm going to be doing my moto vlogging from. And I'll have a separate video on installing ah, the Senna 20S unit. And I'm not sure if I'll be showing you this mic or the wired one, probably this one, uh, because I am having a factory issue with it right now and this is going back for warranty. But I have an SMH10 coming in in two days, so I'll also have that to test and it Right now it's kind of a mess, but I'll talk about that in another video since you guys are coming here to see about this guy. That's it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.